Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yifei Zhang, and I will present my uh, recent published work, uh, Graph Adapted Rectified un Linear Unit for Graph Neural Network, which is published uh, in the web conference 2022. Uh, here is the roadmap of today's presentation. I will first talk about the motivation uh, in this section, I will briefly review uh, some basic knowledge of the graph neural network, uh, which is has some relation to the problem we want to solve. And the second section, uh, it's our main method. We propose a new topological aware uh, activity function, uh, graph adapted rectified linear unit. We call it GRALU. And in the uh, third section, uh, we will show the experiment, experiment results of our proposed method. Okay, so we first uh, recap the, some knowledge on graph neural network. Uh, as is known to us, uh, the graph neural network adopt a, a framework called message passing. Uh, it aggregates information from the neighborhood in the graph and then apply a neural network to transform the output features. Uh, the key idea of the graph neural network is that uh, it can generate node embeddings based on its node uh, local neighborhoods. So here are some problems with this message passing paradigm. The first problem is that we all noticed that uh, uh, for uh, in the message passing, all the nodes sharing the same uh, share share the same uh, neural network. Uh, they have the shared parameters, which means for different nodes, they have the same transformation function. And, uh, and the second problem is that uh, we, we noted that in the message parsing, uh, topological information are only considered in the aggregation phrase, but ignore in the transformation part. All these problems limited the uh, generalization ability and the performance of the current graph neural network. So uh, we plan to propose some approaches to solve the uh, problem that mentioned above. Uh, one it is the way to solve that problem if we can design an adapting transformation in the message passing. Uh, uh, to put it simple, like, uh, look at the equation uh, equation two, which is the message passing. Uh, we can learn uh, a neural network for uh, for different nodes. For different for different nodes, we can apply different neural neural, neural networks. Uh, this is the simple approach. Uh, it of course has some limitations. Uh, because we want to learn different uh, neural networks and we need to sign a different width matrix to different nodes. That means we will introduce a lot of huge number of parameters uh, in, this, uh, in, this, in this simple uh, approaches, which means uh, the neural network are unable to train and are very easy to overfit. And this lead to a bad generalization uh, in the graph neural network. Another way to, to do that, we can use, uh, uh, instead of parametrics, uh, assign, assign different weight to different, uh, to different nodes, uh, with matrix to different nodes. We can assign different parametric uh, ReLU, uh, a nonlinear function to different nodes. Here we adopt the parametric ReLU. The parametric ReLU is defined as follows. So we have a max function here, and we have a uh, piecewise, uh, 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 element-wise uh, uh, functions, uh, element-wise function. So then uh, we can uh, use this parametric ReLU uh, in our, uh, in our uh, graph neural networks. So here is the overview of our uh, proposed, proposed method. Uh, we based on the parametric ReLU but the hyperparameter is output uh, by a function, a hyperfunction. The hyperfunction takes two inputs. The first one is the feature matrix, and the second one is the topological uh, structure of the graph. 
the hyperfunction, uh, the hyperfunction of the JIRA loop can consider can consider the topological information um, in the in uh, in the graph, and uh, produced adaptive uh, parameters for the parametric ra loop for the parametric metric ra loop function. Uh, look at look at this picture. So for different nodes, uh, we uh, for different uh, for a node with three channels, we assign different. Uh, uh, the ReLU function uh, to different channels and, and different and, uh, and different nodes, and the, and and this uh, hyper uh, hyper function uh, has two inputs: the uh, topological information and the feature and the, and the, and the feature matrix. Uh, so uh, by using the parametric ReLU, uh, the G ReLU function, we can uh, we can this uh, message passing paradigm more flexible. First, uh, first we do not uh, we only we only assign different linear function to different uh, to different nodes. Um, we do not share a linear transformation, which we can uh, linear function, uh, which means we can control the model the model complexity. The W here it does it it, it, it the same for the different nodes, and this means uh, we can use uh, we can use less parameter for the uh, topological aware hyper function, and the things the ReLU function is a plug and play component, which means we can easily integrate with different GNN backbones. So, for example, uh. Uh, since the hyperfunction, uh, the the design of the hyperfunction, uh, we need to assign different uh, different parameters to different node to different nodes. Here, we actually need to uh, need to assign uh, uh, two times number of uh, number of nodes uh, times number of channels hidden unit uh, hidden units, but. Uh, this design of hyper function it's due to heavy it, it's due to heavy uh, in our design we just decompose the parameter of node from channels by modeling them as two different blocks so we need to output we need to output the, the we need to up the parameter of of the alpha and the beta so uh, we need to first compute the the parameter for each channels and then we compute the uh, parameter for each node, and then we uh, compute the cross product of this two, uh, of these parameters, and we can finally get the parameters for different channel of different uh, of different nodes. Uh, one way to understanding the Jira loop is we can link the Jira loop uh, with the attention mechanism. Here is the comparison between the graph attention uh, graph attention networks and the G and the Jira loop. We can see that uh, in the graph attention networks, uh, we use the mass attention uh, uh, function to output the parameters for for each node here. And in the graph adapted uh, rectilinear unit Jira loop, we're actually doing the same things. Uh, same same things. We use the hyper function, uh, which is same to the which is similar to the mask attention. We output the two parameters uh, for this G -ReLU, uh, for this GRELU function. The differences between uh, between this equation and this equation is the max function here. We can we can note that equation nine is the linear form of the GRELU, where the bias parameter beta and the max has been automated by setting beta equal zero. And k equal one. So instead, uh, the more so GRELU instead of learning a single parameter share crossing the all channels, GRELU learn multiple weights to evaluate the importance of different channels. Uh, we can see here uh, there uh, the C here means we assign different uh, we assign a different parameter to different channels. And here we only assign different uh, parameter to different nodes. 
and we can this uh, we can use this diagram to illustrate the difference between the G value and the tensions. So here we can see here uh, the G value has has a piecewise has a piecewise function here. We have a three pieces, and we can uh, rescue the input uh, in different range uh, in different range. And here is the illustration of the attention mechanism. Uh, it means uh, we only uh, assign a single weight uh, to the all, uh, to all range of the input. So uh, GRELU has uh, more expressive uh, has has a better expressive ability uh, comparing to the attention mechanism. In the last in the last section, uh, we will show our experimental results. So first, we need to show that uh, our uh, G ReLU are better than other uh, ReLU variants. We compare our G ReLU with other uh, ReLU function like the leak ReLU, E ReLU, P ReLU, and the, and the max out. We test our method in in five different data sets with different GN backbones uh, with different GN backbone. And we notice that our G ReLU are consistent better than other uh, ReLU functions. And it's amenable to different uh, GN backbones. And second, we evaluate our uh, G ReLU function on the graph classification results showing our G ReLU function can capture, uh, can capture the global information uh, we test our GRELU function uh, in the protein and mutag data sets, and the, the results are similar to the uh, node classification, which shows that the GRELU are better than other ReLU functions uh, in different GN backgrounds. Uh, we also conduct the ablation, ablation studies uh, of the GRELU functions. Since we introduce uh, since we introduce several factors uh, in our in our design, uh, we have the nonlinearity here, which is the max uh, max operation, and uh, we take the topological information as our input in the hyperfunction, and we adopt the channel wise attention and the bias param and the bias parameters. So we ablate each factors uh, one by one. And to see whether uh, whether our GRELU function can gain the can gain uh, performance uh, performance uh, from these factors. So by comparing with the GRELU A and the, and the the GRELU and the GRELU E, we can see the only difference is it the it the it the beta parameter here, and which we get some uh, improvement. And compare with compare G value A with G value F, and we can show that we can show like by making uh by making the uh, G value function be a uh, node wise, it can also uh, uh, improve the uh, performance. And the similar results are uh, similar results are showing by comparing by compare G value A with G value G, which which shows by making the uh, G ReLU be uh, channel wise and node wise adapted uh, are useful. And the other ablation study shows that uh, ablation study shows that uh, by making uh, by making the G ReLU function uh, be non uh, be non be a nonlinear function can also increase their performance. We can compare G ReLU A with the G ReLU uh, with, uh, with G ReLU with G ReLU states. And we can see by uh, by making the ReLU, uh, by make, making the ReLU function be a nonlinear function, the performance uh, just got improved. And we can compare the GRELU A with the GRELU B, and we can see the topological information are also useful in the design in the design of the GRELU. And we also compare the GRELU with other uh, methods like the, S the SGC, which is the graph neural networks without linear function. And, and we can see our uh, ReLU function here, uh, which is also a linear, uh, a linear variant. We, out, we outperform the SGC a lot. And the third section, and then the last part, we visualize the G ReLU functions here. 
and we can see the, uh, the G value function, there are some increasing and then there are some the decreasing parts. But most interesting here is that we can see there are some value function uh, always zeros, which means, uh, which, which means uh, for any input, it, uh, the, uh, the activation function will opt zero. Um, it uh, just filled out some signals, uh, filled out some signal which works uh, as the uh, spot selector that filter fills node and channels. And we also investigate the number of the a number of the K in the uh, in the piecewise function here. And we also can see the uh, the K doesn't uh, affect the performance uh, by large. And then we also compare the uh, runtime of different of, of, of different uh, uh, models with uh, with various ReLU uh, ReLU variants, uh, ReLU variants in different gene and backbone, I can we can see here. Although ReLU is not the most uh, efficient one, uh, most efficient one compared to other other ReLU fun ReLU function, because we uh, have so we have we have a hyper function uh, need to calculate, but it's still worst to uh still not the worst uh worst relu function compared to the max out which also has the performance uh relatively the same to the other relu uh, other relu function which means we may not sacrifice much uh, efficient efficiency to trade off the performance uh so that is all for the today's presentation Hope you like our uh, work for the uh, for the activation function on the graph neural network. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the listening.